Welcome to the second episode of Fun in the Sun with Mike and Mike. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker with Team Rennick Real Estate Services, part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family. My partner in crime today is Mr. Michael Hankin. Mike, tell us a little bit about yourself. Welcome. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Uh, my name is Michael Hankin. I'm a board certified real estate attorney and a local here in Sarasota. And uh, Mike and I are happy to continue to bring in new fun and new things to do and places to go here in Sarasota. So the objective isn't to talk about real estate or law. The objective is to find fun things to do in this beautiful city of Sarasota, Bradenton, all the islands. And that's the, the goal as we move forward. Right. Sarasota isn't just a wonderful place to live because it's always got great weather and the people are always wonderful. Um, Sarasota is a great place to live and unique because of all of its cultural opportunities and, and that's what we're bringing you here today. So Mike, where are we today? So today we're at the Ringling and I've tried to do this from memory. I'm going to be brutally honest. I need help with the notes. The Ringling isn't just the museum like a lot of folks think. So I'm going to go through this just really quickly. But it was built to preserve the legacy of John and Mabel Ringling. Michael will talk about them in a couple of minutes. It's a home today of the State Art Museum of Florida the historic Catazan Mansion, Bayfront Gardens, the Art Library, two circus museums, and the historic Oslo Theater. So this complex, this campus, houses a lot of good and fun family things to do. Mike, which one, and, and we can't cover them all in one episode, so we decided maybe to talk about one. Which one would you like to talk about? Sure, so today the one we're gonna concentrate on is the Ringling Museum of Art, which is the building you see okay. here behind us. Uh, the museum was commissioned by John Ringling in 1925. He hired architect John Phillips to design and build the building. Uh, John and Mabel both had an, an incredible love for art and specifically the Baroque style of art. So they really worked on that here and you'll see a lot of wonderful examples in their collections here. Uh, the museum was commissioned by John. It was a private building and he and his wife spent years really gathering all of the various collections that you'll see here. Um, one of their most stunning collections is a casting of the Statue of David uh, that you'll see right in the lobby here. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just a lot of wonderful things and really it's a great place for fine art that you don't get in a city normally that's uh, you know as small as Sarasota. So we talked about Ringling last week with St. Armand Circle. We're talking about this campus here. So the Ringling family clearly had a big impact on this city. They are such a part of the heart of Sarasota that really the two go hand in hand. They're synonymous with one another. John Ringling's love of the arts bleeds over into so much of Sarasota. You see it downtown on Palm Avenue and all the shops lined with art galleries. You see it in the beautiful architecture that really John Ringling loved around town with the, you know, the, the very Spanish style uh, homes that you see around town. Those all harken back to this 1920s, 1930s style where John Ringling really supported and heavily subsidized the development of our town. Um, so we see that in Sarasota. Things for the museum were going great until about the 1930s. What, what happened back then? We, uh, 1936 to 1946, the museum saw kind of some dark times. The country, as you can imagine, was going through uh, a World War II and money was tight. So the museum suffered and didn't really start getting back on track until 1946. Okay. At that point, the museum hired its first director and curator, and they really started a concentrated effort at maintaining the museum. Now, the efforts really didn't get started until, believe it, all the way to 2002, mm -hmm. where at that point, there hadn't been enough major maintenance that the buildings had really started to dilapidate a bit. Mm -hmm. So the state who had received the property after John Ringling's death, John Ringling was kind enough to leave the museum to the uh, people of the state, and it became a state museum. Uh, and then in 2002, the state committed $43 million to renovating the building mm -hmm. on the condition that the museum could raise another $50 million. Well, the museum did that and more. They raised $56 million 
and from 2002 to 2007 they did a huge renovation product uh, project which is why we have this gorgeous building you see behind us today and the entire campus is beautiful let me ask this question mike would this be a place that would be more adults you'd bring your wife and enjoy the day or would you also bring your kids is there something for the kids to see that they would like so for the museum it's a fine art museum you can bring your kids if they love fine art but if your kids are anything like my kids they're not huge fans of fine art so it's probably more of an adult day out okay. uh, if you want to hang out with your kids there's other things to do here uh, there's a beautiful campus down by the water come bring a lunch have a picnic out by the bay and uh, there's gorgeous architecture here so you can enjoy lunch and your kids can play in the field you can enjoy the bay um, there's definitely things to do here for the whole family, but the museum itself is probably more for adults. Another fine job, Mike. I want to thank you for sharing. Mike is a, a local tried and true Floridian, born and raised here. Uh, we shared that in, in the first video that we did. And going forward, we're having Mike tell the story as he sees it through his eyes. And we'll cover a lot more highlights like this. But a fantastic job, Michael. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to talking with you in a couple of weeks. Well, thanks. Good to see you again. And uh, we'll see everyone soon. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, all.